Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. It is time for a sample Saturday once again. I don't have a lot of samples this week. Kind of my rotation is a little bit less this week. Some weeks I have more, some weeks I have less. less. So the first one I have is from Disney. This is made by the brand Apple and this is the Ariel Shower Gel. This smells pretty good. I don't like it as well as the Snow White. I think that one smelled better. It was more apple-y. This one has like just a fruit type scent to it. It works really nicely in the shower. It is very gelatinous though. It's not like a regular shower gel. It's a kind of a thicker thing. I can get enough to kind of give you an idea. It's not as liquidy as most shower gels that I have, but I am enjoying it and will be happy to continue using it in the next week. All right, got a few foil packets. This first one is from Cora Organics. This is made by Miranda Kerr, who I actually really like. I think she's pretty cool. This is a vitamin C serum, Nani Bright. I really enjoyed it. It was just, it felt really nice on the skin. It felt really good. That doesn't always happen with vitamin C serums. And it had like not an overpowering scent, but just a very light, pleasant scent, not perfumey at all. This one I'm wearing today. This is the Dior Capture Youth Instant Rescue. And I really liked this. This was, not enough for two, but a little more than I needed for one. So I did bring it down on my neck, but it felt so good going on. It once again had just like a very light scent, didn't really um, have a, like a perfumey scent, but just felt really nice going on, really smooth. I'm looking at it and it does say it has dimethicone in it. So that's probably why it went on so nicely and just felt so good. Next up is Lancome. This is the Advanced Genifique Sensitive Double Concentrate. What I noticed, it says for texture demonstration only after I was using it, and it says does not contain all ingredients. So why the heck would I need this sample in the first place? Like, I felt really ripped off that um, they're not even giving you the real ingredients for a sample. So how do I know if it works or not? So Lancome kind of, made me a little irritated with that and I would definitely not purchase that because of that. Then we have the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. It's a radiant serum. This was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I felt like it went on pretty well. I don't really feel like it made a difference in my skin. Like it didn't feel like it was doing anything. Whereas the Nani Bright, the Cora Organics and the Dior both felt like they were doing a little bit more to my skin. This one, if it wasn't, you know, Dior and like ridiculously expensive, I would purchase. This one, I am going to put on my list of possible vitamin Cs. And these two, are the Caudalie and the Lancome are not on my list, that's for sure. And then my final sample is a eye cream. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. I actually really like this. This is, might be the first thing from Kiehl's that I actually like. It went on really nice last night and it felt really like hydrating on my eyes, which is basically what I want in a night eye cream. Something that goes on well that feels hydrating and it did it the job, so I did enjoy it. I probably wouldn't purchase it just because I have so many eye creams and there's some other ones that I like better, but yeah. Like that, this I would be interested in if they had full sizes of these and they weren't too expensive. I'd probably pick up a couple of those body gels as, or shower gels as well. That's it for samples, not a whole bunch this week. I hope you are all doing fantastic. Let me know what your samples are that you're using or new products. Um, and let me know how you're surviving the heat. Is it really hot? We're finally hit the heat wave here and I feel a little roasty, but I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.